I've noticed um, in the last year or so, maybe a little more, that I'm starting to do things while I'm playing um, that I guess are becoming my style, my signature. Um, no matter what I'm playing, I always try to incorporate in my playing, and I don't know why. I don't need that. Don't need it there, but I did it anyways. And I always try to get uh, natural harmonics into the riff. Um, Why I do that, I don't know. I just, I guess I really like the sound of it and um, the dynamics that it does. And uh, I can, if I was in a band playing and I was looking out in the audience, I could, I could see someone going and air guitaring along with me. Well, that was part of Rebels of the Night. Um, I wonder if in a music store in, a, in an interview they would actually get you to play. And what would I play if I was in an, in an interview? Is it best to show off what you can play and play a cover? Or is it better to show off and say, hey, this is what I came up with. I wrote this. Um, I was watching a interview with the guitar player from Anthrax, and the interviewer said, what's your favorite riff? Like, what riff did you come up with that you're most proud of? And he played it. And I'm like, oh, really? That one? Um, if someone were to ask me, what's your favorite riff? What's, what are you most proud of? It's the one that's in Drowning in Anxiety. Um, the one I came up with when I was trying to play along with the Pantera song, and I came up with it. Um, this one. And why I do this? I was trying to figure out a way, how can I get back down to the E and not just have dead silence? I want to have something in there. Um, what's the what's the proper terminology? Chrom uh, chromatic run something. I had to get some single notes in there, and I had to play something to get back up to the. Oh, perfect. And I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think say, okay, I'll do this. Do this. I just naturally played it and that's the way it turned out I didn't think to myself I'm gonna do uh, this note this note then this note then this note then this note then that note then that note I just it just came natural
And I think sometimes when I play it, um, cause I, this, uh, this is the proper speed. And I think it's because I play it at that speed, those, that part is un, inaudible, but I don't care because it's part of the riff. I came up with it, and damn it, that's the way I'm playing it. Um, I don't know what else to do. And that's the only solo I've ever come up with. Um, I've never come up with a regular solo for a song. The only solo I've ever written was for the uh, song Rebels of the Night. And I didn't just go from the main riff, bang into the solo. I kind of worked my way up to it. Um... It's... Um... of the night. And how am I going to get to my soul? I just don't want to start going. Okay. And that's the, the reason why I, that's the only solo I've ever written is because if I was jamming in a band and I'm rhythm and all of a sudden they go, okay, solo time, I'd go, okay. And then they'd say, oh, you know that solo you came up with an hour ago in that one song we were playing? No. Yeah, the, the solo you played. Okay, I remember playing a solo. Do it again. <laughs> I don't remember what I did. Oh. Yeah, so like if I'm if I'm jamming, jamming out a song with a bunch of people, and um, they say, okay, play a solo, Jeremy. Okay, I can improvise. But I never remember what I've done, so that's why I can't write a solo. That's the that's why the solo I put in um, Rebels of the Night is the only one I've ever done because it's the only one I can ever remember what I've done. Um, I know a lot of guitar players out there who can read music will actually play the solo and pen it out and write it out on sheet music. I'm like, can't do it. And the reason why I use the um, bridge pickup opposed to the two pickups is because you can't really get, well, I guess you can get pinch harmonics, but they come out a lot more defined, a lot clearer on the bridge pickup. C, 
D E F G. I guess that's enough for now.